Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we are going to work on this journal today. And I've had a lot of people give me one particular name for this journal, and that is Granny's Garden. So I think that might be what the name of her is. Uh, I wanted to show this. I got this through the mail. Didn't have a name on it. Don't know who it came from, but I wanted to use a few pieces in here, so I thought I would go ahead and show it. This is more of those little stickers that I said someone sent me and I love. I got a pack of those. This was a little box. It's got all kinds of little goodies in it. Had um, these little notebook pages. I thought that was cute. And butterflies. Washi tape. Has some little tweezers. I needed tweezers. I didn't. I don't know where mine are that I had a while ago. It's got more little pieces here. It's just full of little little pieces of ephemera. And like I said, I thought I wanted to use some of these in this journal. So I wanted to go ahead and show and say thank you to the person who sent this to me. It's just a little box of goodies. Oh, those are cute. And those are nice and sturdy. Most of them are stickers, but some of them are not. So we'll able to use these this is a pocket looks like yeah it's a pocket it's already folded well as a matter of fact it's a couple of pockets well it's already perforated not folded or scored I should say paper neat more goodies more paper and then some big paper down here in the bottom I just thought those were so cute with those flowers. And then we're going to start working a little bit in this. Now, I have not, well, I won't say I haven't touched it because I have. I have touched it, but I haven't done anything in it that I know of. We're going to stitch the signatures in and then start working today. Um, what I'm going to do first is I have a few pieces of vintage book page here that I want to insert some different places. So I'm just going to go through, figure out where I want to put it. I might put this one here. This is one that I got, uh, I think, last year from Rachel. It's a, a, either Italian or something. I don't know. It's a language that I don't understand, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to flip over to this one. Figure out where we want to put that. I think I'm going to insert something right here because you got two planes and planes, maybe. Well, they look plain to me. This is a very old book page, and it is... The texture of it is just amazing. I, I can't even tell you how the texture feels, but I love it. So we're going to put that in there. Yeah, I like that. Those little steps. And we may add more as we go along. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to stitch the signature in right at this moment or just add some more things. Okay, we'll get that thread off of there. I think this one I want right here because, you know, we've got a plain page and a plain page. So I think we need something to kind of break it up. There we go. Now... Let's decide, do we want to just stitch this in as is, or do we want to add more pages to it? It's kind of getting full. I think by the time I add my pockets, my tags, fill up my pages, I think by the time I do all of that, this is going to be a chunky girl. So I think we might start with this. I did pull out some different things here that I thought about putting in it but I'm not sure like I love that color with some of these colors on here and this is just one of my I believe it's one of my um, digitals it's just some vintage sorry guys you probably could not even hear me I had the microphone hanging way over there I'll try to make the first part of the video louder I don't want to start all over again but this, I think, is one of my digitals, I believe. Uh, no, it's not. This is from the old design shop. I have one that's similar to this that has some old invoices in it. So, 
you can go to my digitals if you want to download this. And I have lots more digitals that will be going up over the weekend from some old documents that I have. I love old documents. I don't know if you guys do or not, but I love them. I'd like to have the original ones. Some of them I have originals. Some of them I don't. Like these I don't, of course. This is 1917. And I'm just tearing off that white part. Whoops. Well, I really am tearing off that white part. If I'd hold it down. That didn't want to tear, did it? So what are you guys doing today and how are you and is it pretty where you are it's a pretty day here it's a little bit chilly but it's pretty very pretty outside and then i thought i wanted to include this one this is one of tina's i believe that i printed last year shabby dabby doodah i do believe Yeah, I like that green color too because there's a lot of green in the... Oops, I just threw all that on the floor. There's a lot of green in your garden and I think I'll just fold that that way maybe. And see where we want to put it. I may put that right there to kind of break those colors up. Hmm. No, if I put it there, I'm going to have to fold it the other way. Let's see what it looks like that way. Yeah, I don't mind that. It's a little bit long, but that's okay. Or I can just tear off a little piece. Let's do that. I didn't didn't take off anything. Very important. Nope, I don't want it there. <laughs> After all that, I don't want it there. It's too much the same same. Let's see where else we might want this. Okay, maybe right here. Okay, that will work there. Then let's see where we want to put these others. I think on this one we'll fold her that way. And I am going to put her right here because she has, this one has writing on it, this one doesn't, this one doesn't. So we'll break that up right there. And then... And someone told me in the video um in the comments uh, someone said oh so and so has already done this before this is not new you know i had said this is new and not, it's a w design you know my design whatever well uh, okay someone has done one similar to this i don't think they've done one just exactly like it because i couldn't even do another one exactly like it but i'm calling this one w design because I'm designing it. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything out there that's protected as far as designs are concerned these days. Especially when you put it out on YouTube. So, just thought I'd throw that in there. Doesn't bother me. Somebody else has already done something similar. But they haven't done one exactly like this. Okay, now we are going to start. I think I'm going to go ahead and... Let's go ahead and stitch in the signatures. What do you guys think? You think we should do that first? Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> I have never 
stitch the signature in this big and this going in this many directions and then decorate it. I usually decorate and then stitch them in, but I think that would be a chore to do that. So I am thinking about stitching this one in and then going through and doing some decorating. So let me get all of these put together, clipped, and get my little tool down here and we'll start stitching these in. So we're going to stitch our signatures in. I'm going to try my best to use my journal tool. If you haven't got one of these, you don't know what you're missing. I know I can use it on the first signature and maybe even the second, but when it gets to that third one, it might be too bulky. So we'll see. We're going to use it on this one anyway. So we're just going to put our holes in there. Okay, and that punched it all down to the spine really, really carefully. As you can see, it comes out exactly on the spine, the holes do. Now, we are going to go inside, out. I have got just some yellow wax thread on my needle. I didn't have any green, so I figured yellow and garden would be okay. We may cover it up with some lace anyway. I don't know. Don't know exactly what I'm going to do to the cover yet. All right. And I, I clipped four places. If you clip your pages together really well, you don't have to worry about them sliding around. Now I'm going to make sure that my outside's nice and tight. There we go. Number one is in. Take these off. Now we're ready for number two. That's number one right there. Okay, number two goes right here. And it is this one. So let's see what we can do. Who knows, but we will try. I always am ready to give it a try. I'm just going to line it up as best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect because guess what? This journal is going to have pages sticking out on all sides. So let's see if that's going to put it through there. Ooh, don't know. Yep, it did. It put it right in the middle. Yes. So we know it works, even with a big, thick journal now. Okay, and then one up here. Oh, that one was a little bit thicker than the other. Yeah, all my holes are right in the right place. This one is a little bit lots so I'm just gonna poke them again like that make sure that it goes through okay we'll go through the middle and then back through the top hole all the way down to the bottom hole and I know most all of you know how to bind a journal, but there are some people who still are scared to do it. So don't be scared. Just jump in there and do it. You can do it. May take a little finagling on some of them, but like this one, it's going to give me, there we go. But you can do it, especially if you've got that tool. That's the easiest tool to use. And when you're doing just one or two signatures, not a W-fold journal like this, it is a lot easier. This is a little bit more difficult because it has got so many folds and flips in it. But as you see, it still worked. Okay, and we're just going to make sure this thread is tight and that my needle, I mean, my thread is on each side it is get that off and then tie it again tie it a double knot all right 
So second signature is in. Cool. Now we need to put the third signature in right here. This one may be difficult. You know what? I hope I put that signature in the right way up. <laughs> I just now thought about that. Oh, Lordy people. Please, please, please. Oh, I did. Oh, la, that's me. I would definitely put it upside down if I could. Okay, those are the right way up. Yes. Right? Yes, okay. Now, this is the top. This is the bottom. So this would go in like that, right? Yes, so our girl won't be standing on her head. I don't think this one, well, we might. I don't know. I don't know if this will work or not. If this works in this journal, this journal, this, if this works in this journal tool, then this journal tool is worth much more than what I'm charging for it. <laughs> Just saying. it worked okay I might have to up the price on the journal tool <laughs> no I'm kidding oh my goodness it worked and it put them right in the center good grief I would have never thought that worked truthfully I had no clue but it worked great that is a much easier way to bind. You keep all everything compact. You don't have to worry about things sliding around and getting off kilter. All right, let's go out through there. Back up through here. Now you could have clipped these pages to the journal it would have made it a little bit easier but sometimes I just don't do that this this is works for me just fine all right then we're gonna go back to this end and then just back through that one right there and now right back up through the middle Pull that. Let me look. Yep. Okay. Now, if your bag splits or anything while you're pulling on your thread, tightening it up, I just cover mine with fabric or with lace or something like that. Anything that you cover it with, it would just it'll just make it stronger. Don't worry about it. Sometimes these bags and things like this will split. That's just the nature. Of the beast but you can fix it there's always something to cover it with okay now let's look all right oh even with it bound it looks bigger doesn't it I love it so there we've got that very nice And I'm not going to flip through every page. I'm just kind of looking to make sure that I've got everything in there. Nothing's torn. See, I don't have any tearing there. Now, some of these I may have needed to have put uh, some reinforcements on, but I didn't. This one is pretty strong. I don't think I'll need anything on that. But if you do, if you have already stitched it in and you find a page that's kind of weak, I mean, like this page is kind of weak. I just got through tearing that. Uh, just put a little piece of washi tape down through there or put something else on it, a piece of fabric or something. Most of these look like they're strong enough that I'm not going to have a problem with them. This one is a very old piece of paper, but it's in there nice. I don't think that'll be a problem. And as we go through and add pages to, uh, then we'll know, or add pockets to and things. Look at that. There's our pocket right there. Nice open pocket. Okay, you can see right here that tore a little bit where I came through. That's okay. We're going to cover that with probably washi tape or fabric. Right there. This needs to be 
glued down a little bit better. So we will glue that down in a minute. This is just where the um, page had folded. So we're just going to glue that down in a minute. Now I'll put some washi or, or lace or fabric or something over that. Just so that it stays put. Alright, there's the second one. Just flip through real quick to make sure that we don't have any pages that may be loose that I should have done something else to. I was too anxious to bind it to think about my pages, I think. But there's always a way to fix it. Always a way. Okay, I think those are good. That one's the most fragile and it feels very strong. Now let's go to the back one. All right, we got it in the right way up, which is always a plus. That's an older page, but it's in there nice and sturdy. That's an older page, but it's in there nice and sturdy. Okay, I think we're good. Oops, what happened here? Uh oh, I don't I didn't get these in there somehow. Maybe I didn't want these in here. I think these were some that I folded and I wasn't sure if I was gonna put them in or not. I kind of wish I had, but you know what? We can still add them in and I'll show you how to add them in and make them look like that they're in your signature when they're actually not. We'll do that with these two. Let me lay them right there. That's just another plus. I get to show you one other thing. Hey, when I make mistakes, I, I learn how to fix them. <laughs> one thing about me, I, I know how to fix things. Okay, that's, I love that. Yeah, we're going to put washi and stuff down through there. As a matter of fact, I think I have some washi that looks like gardening, so that will be good. Now, all of these I left long because on a lot of my journals, I do put dangles, and I will put dangles on this one. Hopefully, I have some little dangles for a gardening journal. So, we'll leave those long, just like they are. Now, let's get started on this. Now, again, if you don't have one of these and you struggle with binding journals, grab one. I promise you will not regret it. I designed this. Benji cut it out with his laser. Mine is not even glued, and it sticks together perfectly. You've seen me use it over and over again. You can glue it and make it even more sturdy, but mine didn't even need gluing, and I use it constantly. This is called the Butterfly Journal. Oh, so I will link it below if like I said if you don't have one you don't know what you're missing everybody that's got one has said best tool ever <laughs> now I'm gonna put a pocket or something here but I'm gonna do it with lace because I don't want to cover up this page so I'm gonna skip that for a minute this has got a good backing on it but I'd like to put some kind of pocket here to um, so that we can put some journal cards and things in. So let's look through some of our paper here. I just stuck all of the paper and everything in that little folder there. Let's see what we want to make a pocket out of. A pocket. Well, I don't know what I was making out of that. Looks like I was trying to make a pocket. That would be pretty. Let's go ahead and fold it over. I have no idea. I don't even remember doing this. Do y'all remember me doing this? I don't remember it. <laughs> uh, I folded it and everything. Oh yeah, I like that there. So let's go ahead on this top and we will Glue this little top part right here down. Oops. Oh, Ada, come on, girl. Go, friend. Okay. There we go. And we need to punch a little pull in the top of it. Just so it shows as a pocket. And then let's go ahead and do a little bit of inking. Now, 
Now this journal is already sold. Uh, I had somebody contact me right after their very first video and ask, could they purchase it? So um, it is already sold, but if you want one like this, I've got enough product that I can put a, probably a couple more together like this, similar to this. Of course, it won't have all of the exact things in it, but it'll have a lot of it, the same. But you just have to email me and let me know. Don't leave it in the comments below the video because I may miss it. Even though I read them, sometimes I may forget to write something down. Because I read the comments as I'm going down, not as I'm going down the road driving, but it, like if my daughter's driving, we're going down the road. I read comments and that kind of thing. So... I don't always have time to write things down and respond right then. I kind of like that blue and that blue. Or, now these are some pieces that I tore off. Or, that blue and that blue. I think I like that one better. But this has got a little bit right here that's not, it's not going to cover. Because this page is a little bit bigger. So I'm going to put a little piece of washi down through there just so that it will be covered and won't have anything showing. And I think this washi right here is going to be good for that. This is some of that washi that I get this from the washi tape shop and it has the backing on it. And it's usually very sticky. I'm just going to put it right in there. Oops. Got it crooked. Okay. That will work. Now, when I really get into this journal, I may have to back the camera out because it's going to be a chunky monkey. But I like chunky journals. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. Okay. I'm going to put a little ink around this just because I did tear it. It's got a little bit of a white edge. Just just at the very very tip not a lot Let's see if we can get this down pretty straight There we go. Now yesterday I did, or day before yesterday. Was it day before yesterday or yesterday? I don't know. One day, it was this week, <laughs> I did a video showing the different ways that you can cover a blank page. That's when I was working on the AJ Journal. And a lot of people ask me, they'll, you know, I've got blank pages in my journal. How do I fix them? How do I cover them? I don't know what to do to them. Uh, nobody likes to stare at blank pages, but using your stencils or your stamps or even another piece of paper like that opens up a whole new world when you put start putting your pages together. So that way you don't have to worry about everything not being printed on the back side and making sure that you don't have any white pages in your journal. You don't have to worry about all of that. I'm making that into a pocket, but right now I'm just doing that just so I'll know and I'm going to leave it. Now this is a good writing page, so I don't think I want to cover that up because I'm going to leave that blue and blue. But the back side of it is white. So I want to cover it, but I may cover it with book page and not necessarily... Uh, another piece of that paper. Let's see what I got here. Oh, that's too big. 
me grab some book page. I love that book page right there. I love the feel of it. Let's do that. It's an older book, an old book page, but it feels so good. It feels like fabric almost. And I don't even mind this rugged edge here. I think I might leave it. Okay, I'm gluing over here to the side with the book kind of off the screen because it does have some shine to it. Don't want to blind you. And someone asked, and I try to answer a lot of questions on here because once I get started reading comments, like I said, if we're driving somewhere or one of the girls is driving and then they, I read a comment and then they ask me a question, well, I've just lost everything. So someone asked, they were asking about the glue. They said, oh, you use that glue a lot. Does that glue actually work good? Does it stay stuck? Does it fall apart after a certain period of time? I've never had a problem with it falling apart, and I've got journals that are probably 20 years old. Never had a problem. But now, I can't guarantee that in your area it's going to do the same. I know I live in the hot and humid south, and it works great for me. Everybody that has purchased this glue says that it works great for them. But, you know, this is the glue stick I'm talking about. But you have to kind of be your own judge. I would just, you know, grab some and use it a few times and see what you think about it. And it's not expensive at all, and it's it's my favorite. I've used a lot of different kinds, but I've never used one that is as sticky as this and lasts as long. I'm just cutting the edges of that backing paper there because I wanted it to be zigzaggy too. like the paper is and I'm not having any luck right here on this end okay and then for, to cover all my mistakes just run that ink right back over it and there is my mistakes covered up all right so we have a nice piece of zigzag paper there all right now this is it's colored it's nice i'm not going to do anything with that i am going to cut that little piece off right there i think i'll wait and not do anything with that this is a piece of old braille paper and this come from a sweet friend of mine and i don't think i that i think it was in the video that got corrupted where i showed the big huge pad that she sent me of braille paper thank you so much you know who you are um I don't remember names right this minute because I half the time I don't even remember my name. But um, thank you so much for sending that to me. I really appreciate it. I have used it and used it and used it and still got tons that I'm going to be using. Now, let's see. I want to hinge something here. I'm just not sure what I want to hinge. That page is kind of pretty with that. I don't know if I just fold that up if it's going to be... I think it's still going to be too big. Yep, we'll have to cut it down. Okay, let's try some different scenarios here. I'm going to fold it about right there, which is about the size that we need. Yep. And then on this side, we're going to fold it back. So I'll hinge it right there because I don't want to cover up all of this. So I'm just going to hinge it right there. And then when you flip it over to this side, you're going to have a little tuck here. And we'll have to cover this. So let's do that. And I may just leave this for a pocket. What do you think? Let this be a tall pocket. Okay, close that up. Oh, no, don't close that up. Did you see me? Did you see what I did? You gotta hinge it, you crazy girl. You can't close it up. 
Oh, I can't run my glue straight this morning. Okay. Hinge. Hinge. Is that hinged somewhat near? No. Okay, that'll work. And then that side is glued down. Now you can close the bottom. There we go. Okay, so we got that hinged on there. This is going to be a pocket up here. And then we're going to cover this, and that'll be a pocket. And I think I'm going to cover that with some lace and let that be a side tuck pocket. But I'm going to go ahead, before I forget about it, punch a little pull so that I'll remember that's going to be a pocket. And then punch a little pull up here. Because believe it or not, I have done them, and then I forget that that's going to be a pocket. Now I think I want a little piece of washi down through there. Just to kind of disguise that joining. And I think it's going to be that one right there. I have used that a lot. There we go. And we'll put our lace all the way over to here when we put this down. So don't think we need to change that up any. We'll decorate later. Right now we're not, not going to decorate as we go. Right now we're just kind of filling blank pages, adding a few pockets, that kind of thing. And then later we'll do our decorating. Now I would like to have a pocket that come on this side and then flipped up this way. Don't know if that's even feasible or not, but we shall see. So we've got yellow over here. We don't want to put anything that's wild and crazy on there. What about a blue stripe? Ooh, that'd be pretty. I like that. But I need it to go this way, actually. If I'm going to have a pocket on both sides. Well, no, I could do it that way. Okay, make up your mind. Let me grab. Um, 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 um. I'm going to cut it right there. Or tear it. Alright. This, I'm going to... I started to say I'm going to seam it on both sides. <laughs> I'm not seaming it. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking about sewing, I guess. I am going to score it on both sides at three-eighths of an inch. Let's see. One, two, three. Then I'm going to score it right at the top at three-eighths. And then at the bottom at three eighths. Someone asked me, as I do these things, I remember what people ask me. Someone asked me where I got my big scoreboard. My big scoreboard is a old Martha Stewart scoreboard. I don't even know if she sells them anymore. I got it many, many, many years ago. But I can uh, link one below that's similar to mine. Very, very close. I love my big one. I love my little one, but I love my big one, too. Now, the reason I'm doing four... Scoring on four sides on this, I'll show you in just a second. So, we're going to put our glue right here. Glue that down. We're going to put our glue right here. And glue that down. Now, when you're doing this, of course, you need a piece of paper that has no direction. So this one doesn't have a direction. Then we're going to fold this up like that. Make our little fold in there. Okay, then it's going to go on these two pages. Make sure I don't have any glue there. 
these are the sides it's gonna fold around now I'm gonna cut a little slit out right here just to keep that bulk out of where it folds around the pages okay Aaron mopped this uh, vacuumed and mopped this floor this morning and there I go just slinging things in the floor I will pick them up I promise okay then this is gonna go right at the bottom just pull it up to the bottom tight I'm gonna punch my pulls in there first but see you're gonna have a pocket on this side and a pocket on this side or you could do a side tuck on one side let's let's see which one do we want to do we want to do double pocket or a side tuck in a pocket I think on this side I want to do a pocket and then on this side no actually on this side I want to do a side tuck so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to trim off right here, make a little angle, and just glue it here and here. And that's going to be a little side tuck pocket. So let's trim this right here. Donk, just like that. And then on the other one, we're going to make that a pocket. And the reason I did that is because this page is plain. The other one is not. So I want more of that other page showing. We sent out some special orders yesterday for our sublimation people have got craft events and things coming up so they had ordered some special items to be made and Presley made them and she made she did a fantastic job that girl is so good and so precise at this stuff so she made some tote bags for a group sassy let's see Sassy Stampers, I think it's the name. I can't even remember. Not, I actually made the template, but I think it's Sassy Stampers. Ruth, is that right? I cannot remember. You know me. You know me and names. But I thought they turned out great. And Ruth, you have a little present in there that I hope you will enjoy for being our very first large order. For your stamping group I think they're gonna have an event coming up and she wanted to be able to give each of the ladies something I thought that was so sweet we um this month we're starting hats and shirts now we haven't put them on the website yet just simply because we are still playing around with different designs and different shirts to make sure that we get the right quality shirt and all of that so but they will be going up soon but if you want a shirt you can go ahead and tell us what kind you would want what color you would want that kind of thing and we can go ahead and put your name down for some of the first ones shirts or hats or anything like that even a hoodie as hot as it's going to be here in, in no time we'll still do hoodies if you want one all right now i need to cover this because that's that's just white but i want it to be something very colorful because this page is not colorful i think i have used just about all of these pages in here oh except her i don't think i've used her <laughs> let's see I think I can get her and the basket in there oops I need to tear it right there okay let me tear that one off So this is actually Thursday journal day. That's why we're working on a journal. Now, what do we want to do? We could do, we could just, just put that on there or we could let it run out a little further and just do this.
Oh, I think that would be cute. Okay, this is what we're going to do. I know all these things come to my mind and I can't I can't work at them fast enough. I'm going to fold this over, make a little fold in there because it actually was a little bit big. And hopefully my fold is the right size. Then we're going to cover this side like that. This will get folded up and glued right, right to the edge of this, just to the very, very tip, because I don't want to lose any of this journal page or invoice. It's right there. So let's fold that over. I don't mind that it's sticking out a little bit further because, like I said, this journal is going to have pages that's going to stick out, some that's short. I mean, it's going to have different different size pages. <clears throat> and I think that's the beauty of a journal like this, is they have different size pages. So I'm going to try to put my glue on here. Maybe that'll work. Then we'll run some Art glitter glue right around the edges. I don't know if I said Barely Arts earlier or not. I've got Barely Arts on my brain because I've got a big shipment coming in, I think tomorrow, and I can't uh, can't get it off of my mind. I don't know why. I said Barely Arts yesterday when I was filming. Ooh. Okay. Now we do have a tiny little bit. Oh look, that didn't go on top. You know what, I don't mind that. I'm just gonna leave it. It went underneath my little fold, that's okay. I don't mind that, I'm gonna leave it. Now we can make this little slim pocket. I think that's what I will do. No, I can't make it a slim pocket unless I put this on the outside because it would get in the way Let's see how bad I've messed it up. Maybe not too bad. Whoops. Um, the good thing about it, this glue dries clear and it does kind of rub off a little bit if you don't rub too hard. So let's do that. That's where the glue was supposed to be. Crazy woman, right there. Now, if that, I may just put a piece of lace down through there anyway, so I think that's going to be fine. This journal will have lace in different places. I'm just going to glue that bottom together. And then this little top is going to be a little small pocket. Just a little top loading small pocket. Okay. This bottom, I think I want to trim off, sticking out just a little bit. Not a have to, but I think I'm going to. Okay, and then on the top, it's actually sticking out a little bit, but I'm just going to ink it. It's not enough to even worry about. All right. Oh, I like that. Pretty, pretty. Okay, and then we got this one. That's a good writing page, even though it is sideways. That doesn't bother me. But both sides are writing pages. So I don't think we need this side to be a writing page, too. Now, I may put something like this on it. Just because I need, I need something here. Because I got plain page, plain page, plain page. I need something in here to kind of mix it up. So let's see what we can do. And I don't even, since this page is colored, it doesn't even have to come all the way to the edges. The paper doesn't. Oh, we could put her. She's a cutie. Put her on there. Let's see. There's going to be a lot of women right together. I might need to use her further back toward the back. Don't want to put too many women together. You know how that goes. Oh, we haven't used that yet. I like that. It's got more of the blending, blended colors. 
So let's do that one. Nice, I like that. Then we got a plain writing page. Then we got an old book page. I love that. I like the crinkle on it, all of that. Then this side, I'm going to leave for writing. This, I think I'm going to put something behind it just because it's pretty brittle. But I'm going to worry about that a little later. This page, I think we need something on here, don't you? Let's use an old book page to give it more writing. Well, we got a book page there. Let me find something to put on here. This piece actually runs vertical so that would be a good page to put there let's just do that um i think it's thick enough i can use my art glitter glue hopefully if it's not then i'm messing up i'm just going to use it around the edge and then i'm going to use my glue stick because this paper i know is not real thick and i don't want to have lines on the other side. Now you've never seen anyone cover pages like this before, have you? <laughs> oh, let's see, do we want to fold that around? Hmm. No, but I think I want to fold the bottom up. I don't want to fold that around because I just got through doing a fold around. But I think we'll fold this piece up. Nope, because she'll be upside down. So you're just going to have to get cut off. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that gives it some color. And then I've got a little white showing here, which is not a problem. I'm just going to ink it. There we go. And then that'll be a very good writing page. We've got a bird page here. I think I'm going to leave that for now. We'll come back through this many times and do things. So don't worry. It's not like we're skipping over a bunch and not doing things. We've still got all kinds of tags and pockets and journal cards and everything to go. Now I may put one of these pockets on here. What about... No, well, that's the wrong way, Edith. What about that? Well, they're both backwards to me. Hmm. Okay, we can't do that. <clears throat> Okay, let's see if one of these works. I think that one will look good because we've got that green up there. Let's try to do that one. Okay, I am going to back this on some book page just because it's a thin, thinner paper than I normally use for pockets. So Miss Brooklyn came over yesterday. Um, she got here at my desk and she started playing around with some paper and making some flowers and things. And I said, do you want to do a video? And she said, well, I do, but I've got to go to my writing lesson, so I don't have time right now. I'm just practicing. So she's practicing up on some videos for you guys. Now she has posted quite a few of her equestrian, I guess that's what you call it. Her writing videos on her channel so you can go over and check those out I, if I remember I will link her channel below she's changed the name a couple of times and I keep losing it so I said babe girl and then I can't remember what the name of your channel is she said oh nene I said well you know how I am I can't remember things like that she said oh I know I'll just go ahead and get it for you <laughs> She's a mess. She's my little mess. But she's got a big old sweetheart, I tell you. Oh, 
I still don't know if this is right or not. Did I cut out the wrong one? I think I might have. I think this one go actually goes on the other side. Yeah, it goes like this. Well, gracious. Oh. You know what? I am going to put it like that right there. I don't think it really matters. A lot of left-handed pockets in this one, but not a lot of right-handed pockets that I can see, unless I'm doing them wrong. That's still going to work. We're still going to be able to slide a nice tag down in there. And it still goes well with the colors on this page. So that will work. All right, maybe a few more pieces. I think I've been going a long time on this video. So um, I think I'll leave that for now. I do need some color or something on here because we got kind of same tones. Um, let's see what we might put on there. And I might even just put a side tuck and not cover the whole thing just to give it some color. Let's try that. Yeah, I'm folding without my scoreboard, which is not a good idea. What if we do that? Or that? I think I like it halfway in between. All right, I'm going to cut a little bit off at the top. Really, I'm going to cut that whole thing off at the top. Because I like that. I can use that somewhere else. And then we're going to cut a little bit off at the bottom. Yeah, that'll work. Now, again, this is a little bit thin paper. So I'm going to go ahead and back it. Someone sent me a bunch of these Sudoku or Shimoko or however how you say them. I don't know how you say this. Sumoko? Sumoku. Sumoku. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna I've been using them for backing pages because they're pretty good. I mean I'll use them for other things too, but they're good to back tags and they're just the right thickness. I know there is a Sudoku game, isn't it? Sudoku? Sudo I don't know. I don't play those games, but my sister-in-law was totally addicted to them at one time. And her husband complained to me and my husband about it, and we're like, well, we can't do anything about it. That's your deal. <laughs> he said, all she does is sit and play those games. Well... What do you want us to do? Tell her she can't? Well, that's not our business. Don't you just love it when family members try to get you involved in their personal business and you're like, no, I've got enough of my personal business of my own. I don't need any more drama. And it gives it some color right in there where it needs it. So you don't have all just bland colors. There, that'll work. Yes. And see, I like the way that looks now. Okay, I'm going to leave that for a while, and I'm to the center. So I think that might be the video for today. I think, I don't have no idea how long I've been on here, but I'm sure it's been a while. Um, I do want to do something here on this, but I just don't know what right now. I'll figure it out, and then on the next video, we will we'll start working on the second part of the first signature and look it's getting chunky <laughs> i love it i love the feel of it okay guys that is it for the video today i hope you'll give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that would help me out tremendously and thank you so much for being here with me we will talk to you guys later Bye bye